So, Aaron, I want to get to your word of the day. It's actually tied to one of those magnificent seven names. There are some news related to one of them. So can you give us your word of the day? So my word of the day is nuclear. Uh, and this is all about what uh, we, the resources we need for all those nuclear plants, meaning uranium. Uh, so that's how I'm playing uh, the, the many headlines that have been hitting uh, about new nuclear programs coming on. All right. And you have two picks for us to play the space. Uh, we had somebody else giving us some uh, under the radar energy plays, but yours is right on the nose today. Uh, one of them is uh, an ETF, the Global X Uranium ETF, ticker URA. The other one's a uh, uranium miners ETF, URNM. I do have to say, though, both of them are under the performing the market year to date. Uh, the last one's actually in the red or actually just fractionally higher now, maybe off that news. Um, what do you see as a catalyst to move these names higher? Because I feel like all year long we've been talking about the, the increased need for energy, the power data centers and just the whole AI trade. Right. So a, couple, a few things that are going to push these stocks up on, on a longer term trend and really help with their relative performance is a lot of it is still about China demand. China's a little ahead of us when it comes to building those nuclear reactors. You know, as, as your previous guest mentioned, you know, we were talking three to five years before uh, these these new Microsoft Google centers will be up and running, whereas China is already building them and has and has that need. So these miners, uh, their customers are both U.S. based, as Europe as well as China, and so that China growth is part of what's already helping them for today within the next year. Um, another thing is that we're seeing the spot prices of uranium stabilize. Uh, and so we're looking at just a, about a 6% growth just on the futures or 6% increase just on the futures market, um, let alone the additional production. So there is some volatility uh, just within the pure price of uranium. These are, this is a well, both of these are well diversified uh, ETFs where okay. you have the major miners from Kazakhstan, from Canada, Australia, and so on. Um, so it's somewhat okay. based off the price of uranium, but also who the customers are.